Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Mike Glenn, Senior Pastor of Brentwood Baptist Church, and I am honored you are here. I would love for you to hit subscribe and like. Uh, that uh, helps us know that we're talking about things that are, ma that are important to you and that matter to you. Uh, you don't have to walk very far or read uh, too many lines of any publication uh, to see that people are very anxious right now. They are worried about a lot. Uh, they don't know what to do with COVID-19. They don't know how to protect themselves or their family. Can I go out? Can I not go out? Can I, can I go to a restaurant or not? Can I go to church or not? Can I go back to work or not? Uh, if someone goes somewhere and they come back, do they have to quarantine? How long do we have to stay six feet apart? How long do we have to keep uh, wearing masks? On and on the list goes. And then you have all of the uh, follow-up questions to that, like what's gonna happen with the economy? How's this gonna affect the election? On and on and on and on and on. And you, we are worried and we are anxious. Anxiety is an overwhelming emotional response to feeling out of control. And the image of anxiety is the gerbil on the wheel in his cage. You know, the gerbil gets on the wheel and runs and runs and runs and runs and runs and doesn't go anywhere. That is worry. That is anxiety. It is running all of these things through your head. What if this? What if that? What if this? You don't sleep. You don't eat. You are constantly worrying about what might happen and how you would respond and what it's going to mean and how it's going to change your life, but you never get anything done. You never get anywhere. So first, let's remember 99 things, 99% of the things that we worry about never happen. Uh, you're worried about being killed by a terrorist or something like that, probably not going to happen. Uh, worried about being hit by an asteroid, probably not going to happen. Most of what we worry about simply never happens. There's another small percent of, of things that we worry about that we have no control over. I want them to play college football. I look forward every year to college football. Now they may play, may not play. I am worried about that. But you know what? I have absolutely no control over it. Not one of the coaches has called me. Not one of the college presidents has called me. Nobody's called me to get my opinion or input on whether or not they should play football in the year of COVID. So I'm worried about it. I'm anxious about it. Nothing I can do about it. Might as well let it go. There's a lot of stuff you're worried about you cannot change. It's the serenity prayer. Grant me the ability to accept the things I cannot change. Okay, there's some things you cannot change. There's a small percentage of the things you're worried about that you can do something about. Do what you can do. Spend less time worrying about what you can't do and do what you can. Okay. We're used to doing church a certain way. We have the facilities, we have it down pat, we've got it like a machine. Now all of a sudden COVID comes, everybody says we can't do church the way that we uh, are always used to doing it. So what do we do? Well, you know, I've been doing this a long time. And I told our preaching team and the pastor of the other campuses, I said, you know, we used to do all of this stuff um, with a legal pad and a plug-in phone. You know, a phone went to the wall. So no, maybe we can't meet on Sunday. We're just now getting back to that. Maybe we can't do our groups yet. Maybe I can't visit the hospital, but you know what? I got a legal pad with a list of names of people I care about, a list of names of people I'm praying for, and I got a phone, and I'm wearing it out. That's what I used to do. Now it's what I'm doing pretty much full time. It's one of the things I can do. Maybe I can't go to the hospital, but I can call. Uh, maybe I can't go visit uh, someone in the, in the nursing home or a, a, a facility of some kind, but you know, I can write a card. And so I do what I can. Worry is getting emotionally locked down, being afraid of what might happen. Stop worrying about what you can't do and do what you can. Do that and trust God with the rest. 
This is our YouTube channel. Thanks for being part of us. Hit subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time.